Welcome to the Academic Advising page here on the Civil Engineering website. My name is Dr. Kurt Hazelton. I'm the Department Chair in Civil Engineering. The purpose of this short video is to go over the course requirements to obtain a Civil Engineering degree here at Chico State and also to explain to you the materials that we have here on this webpage to help you select courses and to understand these requirements. The first document that I'd like to show you, let me pull it up on my screen, is the course requirement file. Um, it's a Microsoft Excel file and this file, if you start at the top, first gives you some overall general education requirements right, that you should remember as you go through and select your classes. The top of the page shows general education requirements. The four sections below show all the courses needed to obtain a civil engineering degree. Each of the boxes display the recommended course year for the engineering program. For example, the box at the top left shows the courses required for the freshman year. The courses are organized into two semesters, each with a manageable unit load and course schedule to graduate in four years. If you scroll over a course number, the course title, prerequisite, co-requisite, and post-requisite courses are displayed. For example, under the first semester of freshman year, the Civil 130 course is called Surveying. It has a co-requisite of Math 120, which is Calculus 1, and a post-requisite of Civil 140, Transportation, Planning, Surveying, and Graphics. Within the first semester of freshman year, there are five courses listed. These make up the recommended course load for that semester. To the right of the course title, spaces are given for the date of course completion, unit load, and course grade. The total unit load for each semester is also displayed to the bottom right of each semester box. The next thing I'd like to show you are the civil engineering playing cards. Right? And I'm pretty proud of these. I think they're a lot of fun. What these are is again it's another way of presenting course requirements. And these cards here help you to select your courses in the appropriate order. So each card right, gives the course requirement, shows the prerequisites, the numbers of units, and so on. And these cards can help you lay out your classes semester by semester. And when you finish the requirement, you just check it off. And when you're done with your cards, you have a degree. This is often a lot to digest right, for a student, especially a starting student. So if you have any questions, we're here to help. Please come by my office hours. I'm in Langdon 207. Right? Or come by and see your faculty academic advisor. If you're not sure who your faculty academic advisor is, please come by and see Yvonne Leiden here in the Civil Engineering Department, and she'll be able to assign you an academic advisor, which will be one of the faculty members here in the Civil Engineering Department. I'd like to leave you with a quick note. These requirements that we've discussed were changed, and these are actually effective Fall 12. These are the new requirements that we talked about. If you were in college at Chico State before Fall 12, or if you were at a community college before Fall 12, your requirements are slightly different. So if this is the case for you, I would definitely suggest that you come by and see either myself or your faculty academic advisor right, to make sure that everything's clear. We also put a little bit of content on this page to discuss this transition between old curriculum and new curriculum. So you can take a look at that also so that it'll give you a little bit more clarity on the requirements for you as a student that started before Fall 12. We hope this video was useful. If you have any questions, please feel free to come by. We're here to help.